Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello and welcome. This is Real and Wonderful and I am the creator. Whoa, is that like normal? What the world sound is? Is it? I'm probably saying the same thing. Okay, so in today's video, I am going to be telling you guys about some productive and or healthy habits that you should definitely adopt in your life. Um, they're very useful. I have quite a few of them, actually, more than I thought I would. And I wrote them on this cute little sticky note. You can't really, like, see it. My hand might be messy. But, um, yeah, so we are going to do that in today's video. So, let's get right into may be wondering how to get their lives back on track, how to, in, in, how to introduce productiveness and habits in your life that are beneficial to you. And I am here to tell you that, or to give you some type of insight on it. So the first healthy slash productive habit that you should definitely adopt into your life is journaling. Journaling is very, very useful and it allows you to express your feelings and emotions and it, it's a good way to reflect on your day and to reflect on yourself. I, um, let me just, because I always move my hands and I don't know if I say that. Why is that blackboard? Is that mine? I don't know. I think I'm going crazy. Anyways, but journaling it can be very helpful if you do do it. Uh, a tip that I would have since journaling may be complicated to keep up with for some people definitely set a time for your journal just saying definitely set a time for your journaling and by that i mean have an alarm or do it in the morning do it when you eat breakfast just like connect journaling with a positive feeling so for example i do not journal often like very little i do it when i feel very emotionally like very emotion driven or whatnot. I usually write in my diary. I write in it every night. I know it might be childish to have a diary, but it's kind of like a journal for the end of the day. So I write in mine every night before I go to sleep or stay up overthinking. <laughs> but I do write in it every night and it lets me reflect on my day. And when I do that, it let it like lifts a weight off of my shoulders that I should not have had there to begin with. So journaling is definitely something to pick up. Oh, well, I don't know how to start journaling. You probably don't, didn't ask that, but I'm asking it myself. How do you start journaling? What do you do? Well, what I did was I looked up some questions so, before I do that. Journaling can be used for self-love, it can be used for self-reflection, it can be used for literally anything. So looking up questions that can Looking up questions that are beneficial to you, like self-love topics, like what do you love most about yourself, or like, like what habits have you and uh, introduced into your life, kind of something like that. You need to find questions, and you can answer them in your journaling, or you can just write your feelings out. So I will show you guys mine. Well, not really, because like there's personal stuff in there. Journals are usually personal, and what I, I use it for a personal thing, kind of like. So I have a few entries in here. I have not written it in a while, but I did write it recently this month. Uh, so I have things like 10 interesting things about me, how do I cope with strong emotions, and like little writing snippets that I add in there, from myself, of course. And I just, I just kind of write them down, and doing that really helps me reflect also you don't have to have a set amount of questions you can literally just um write like what you want to do what you want to be and stuff like that so i'll just also known as manifesting and uh affirmations so you guys can do those if you want to number two we have to do this to do this are kind of hard to keep up with but you can definitely do it with when it comes to to do this. I'm pretty sure people. When I first thought of to do this, I thought of like do this at five o'clock, do this at ten o'clock, do this at six, seven, eight, etc. But it's not. It's literally not that. It's 
just putting stuff that you have to do. For example, you have to write in your journal um, and clean your room and stuff like that. So definitely having a to-do list is very useful. It increases your productivity. And if you find it hard to keep up with it, definitely put it in a place where you can see it right in front of you, where you can usually sit. If you spend a lot of time on your computer, you can put one on your computer um, and or around the desk space that you use. Number three, exercising and or yoga. Both exercising and yoga are definitely, definitely, definitely beneficial to your health. Um, exercising will, will increase your energy, will definitely give you a better sleep at night. It will make you stronger, more fit, um, and, it, and you won't feel as bad, you know, and it'd be... It won't feel as bad if you, like, ate something you were supposed to. Well, I mean, mine, I don't know. But when you exercise, you exercise. But when you exercise, you have to do it for the right reason. Don't just do it to lose weight if you want to lose weight. There's not Exercising can be for many things. For strength, for mindfulness, etc. Yoga is the same thing. Yoga is a little bit harder than exercising because it's a lot of stretches that put strain on your body. But it's not bad strain. It's, like, good strain, kind of. But uh, yoga is definitely useful as well. I have been incorporating exercising and yoga into my daily routine and I do feel great. I feel amazing. Um, uh, speaking of routine, I might do a morning routine. I am not sure how to work that out because I do do this on the computer, but I definitely incorporate exercising and yoga into my routine because I know that doing that is very, very helpful for my body and for my mind. All right. Four is meditation. I have not incorporated meditation into my life yet, but I feel like, but I'm going to, starting today, later on, I'm going to meditate. I'm going to sit on my bed or on the floor. I'm going to close my door. Some music probably like a candle or two. And I'm going to meditate because I find it, I, I find it hard to meditate because it's hard for me to sit still and my mind literally doesn't shut up. But I'm going to try it. Um, meditation is really good for your body. It helps you become one with yourself. And you can also find yourself within yourself using meditation. Meditation also has health benefits. And it's just definitely something that you should try to incorporate into your daily life. Because it will change your life. Number five is making your bed. Making your bed is so important. It's the first thing you do of the day. It is literally the most important. It sets the tone for the entire day. If I didn't make my bed every morning, I would probably die. Because literally, I cannot not make my bed. I need it to be made. Making my bed makes me feel more productive. It makes my room feel much more clean. I mean, it's clean, but much more clean. It gives it a really good and fresh feeling, and it just feels amazing when I make my bed. And you should definitely incorporate that into your life if you do not already. Trust me, it is definitely worth it. And if you find it hard to do that, just just, just, just do it. That's, that's all I can say. I can't really, I don't really have anything for that. But making your bed is so important. All right, six. Let me count. One, two, three, four. Five. Yes. Water. Now, I cannot stress this enough. Water is so very important in your life. You should definitely drink water because water helps with your body. Also, it helps with weight loss. And without water, you would be dead. Your cells need water to survive so they don't shrivel up and die. Your kidneys also need water so they don't shrivel up and die. So water is so very important and you should definitely drink more water. It doesn't matter what it tastes like. If you don't like the taste, put lemon in. I, I don't care, just drink water. It is very, very important. I drink water all the time. Even getting cute little bottles definitely help with drinking water. I don't know, it's just something about having a cute little bottle that has water in it that just makes you wanna drink, drink it more. But um, it's definitely beneficial for everything. Water is literally everything, so just drink water. Seven, we have make time for yourself. This is also equally as equally important as all the other ones I listed. Maybe not water, water is like at the top. But um, it is important to, you need to make time for yourself. Stop, stop trying to do everything at once. Sit down, isolate yourself for a little while, and just make yourself feel loved because yourself your body be feeling deprived sometimes if you don't love it. If, if you're worrying about everybody else, if you're not eating right, 
then that's just you're you're literally self time is very 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 important and if you don't make time for yourself then your body is going to shut down so definitely make time for yourself last but not least introduce motivation into your life what i mean by that is literally have some sort of like motivation as i said in the previous video goal motivation how you're gonna start you need some sort of motivation to keep you going you need to you need to you need to you need to have motivation like literally motivation can come in all shapes and forms just someone telling you that you can do it is motivation i personally while i'm doing my yoga in the morning i will put on a motivational video uh in the background and i will listen to it while the yoga video or while well, everything else is silent and i listen to it and it really helps and gets me ready for the rest of my day um you can also do motivation by just like you know you know just motivating yourself i can do this i can do this every single morning in the mirror and when you wake up in the when you wake up in the morning i can do this you motivate yourself because not everyone's going to be there to motivate you for you i do suggest I, well, I don't suggest, but I, I definitely like the approach of me motivating myself. Also, the videos that I watch uh, from the Law of Attraction coaching or something like that. I'm not entirely positive what it's called, but um, I, I love those motivation videos. So, definitely incorporate motivation into your life. So, yeah, that was the end of today's video. I hope you guys really liked it really enjoyed the video then please consider subscribing to my channel liking the video and commenting uh comments just they just make me feel good i don't know just something about you know people commenting it's just i don't know i like i like comments um so yes definitely and try to incorporate these habits into your life journaling to-do list making exercising and yoga meditation making your bed drinking water, and making time for yourself, and introducing motivation into your life. I hope to see you guys next time.